Beach, uh, the dear little town in the old county down, and the famous F.E. McWilliams Gallery. Why is Banbridge interested in F.E. McWilliams? Because he was born there. Effie McWilliam was born in Newry Street in Banbridge. This isn't his home. This is his, this this is, is no, his gallery not, in his honour now. It's not. Yes. Unfortunately, his home isn't even a residence anymore. Yeah. It is, it's just a shop front. Oh, I know. But the blue plaque is there yeah. to note that's I'm where he was born. I'm waiting the blue plaque, but my home, where I was born, <laughs> is no longer a home either. It's a shop, uh -huh. you know. Yes. But I sometimes go to Mary Street in Newry and look to the sky and say, under this inverted bowl I was born, <laughs> and it brings me back. Yes. This is the gallery. Yes. McWilliams yes. gets lovely. It's, uh, yes. it's done with a wee bit of taste. Oh, it's, very, yeah. it's a very beautiful gallery, and it's becoming very well known. Yes. Uh, and, I hear uh, Neil uh, Shawcross talk a lot about it. Highly appreciated, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, Neil yeah. is a frequent visitor. He would be. Yes. He would be. And the story of, of F. E. McWilliams, you, you may tell us a little bit yes. about that. Well, as I said, he was born in Boundbridge in 1909. Mm -hmm. and the son of the doctor, the local yes. doctor. And uh, he went on to art college in Belfast and then moved on to um, the Slade yes. uh, in England. And he went first to study uh, drawing and painting. Yeah. But it turned out that he had a preference for sculpture. For sculpture, so yeah. So he followed that line. Mm -hmm. And he became it's internationally almost, it's almost renowned. It's almost a Henry Moore there. It's, it's, it's well, not quite, but it's... Uh, it, it, it takes, uh, is that an F.E. McWilliams uh, it work? It is, yes. Wow, it's, 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 it's a Henry Moore with, 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 with wrinkles, <laughs> I think, don't you? He was actually a good friend of Henry Moore's. Wow, yes. But when Henry Moore, his works uh, tend to be very, very large. Yes. If he didn't do really so many uh, very large works, he tended to make smaller works. Yeah. This is one of the very few that, you know, is quite a big piece. Yeah. What's, what's the material? Uh, bronze. 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 All in bronze, is Yes. It? Wow, look at this. Yes. This is a fairy tale piece by, <laughs> well, I doubt. Unfortunately Gorgeous. not. No, not, what is no this No fairy tale. This piece relates to a series he created in the 70s about the women in Belfast. Wow. The, the bomb, the bombings. Oh, my God, it yes. It was because of the Abercorn disaster. Yes. And he knew the Abercorn very well as a young man when and he that's was still the place here. Where a young woman who was to a bride to be that she lost a leg in the Abercorn and when she eventually married she went up the aisle on her crutches yes. and she triumphed. Yes. She did indeed. But well, that's, this, it that's annoyed quite beautiful. Him, uh, it, it annoyed would, him yeah. so much that um, he created a series of work called The Women in the Bomb Blasts. My yes, God. The Women of Belfast. Yeah. And um, it's a very beautiful piece. Yes. It's, you know, all stretched out, but quite yeah. anonymous because the heads are all covered um, Isn't it or disguised in some way. Isn't it interesting? I, I take you back to my initial observation. It was a fairy tale. How, from this perspective, how a work of torture can be so mm -hmm. easily mistaken mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the joyous outthrowing yes. of... Yes. Of, 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 yes. uh, of fairy tale or, or wonderment. Yeah, it's because although the women are, are so damaged, the beauty with it still the comes piece, through. That's yeah. I think what you realize. Yeah. And the that fingers beauty, and yeah. the hands are so beautifully they stretched. They are, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Like the, the, there's, there's an absence of torture in yes. that. Yes, he's given them a dignity. He has, without a doubt. Although they are, as I say, rumpled and nothing more than flotsam and jetsam thrown into yeah. the street. Now, what is this one? This is so This one is called Homer. Oh, yeah. And we are fortunate to have that on it's loan from Belfast City Hospital. Yeah. Uh, he, you, from that angle, you can't really see, but he has his arm in a sling. Ah. And uh, why he has, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. But it wasn't created initially for the hospital. He was asked for a piece, and he yeah. decided to give them Homer because he thought it was appropriate. Isn't that nice? Yes. That is nice. It is yes. Good. We yeah. have a few pieces on loan. Unfortunately, uh -huh. we don't own so many of the bigger pieces mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. They're on loan. But um, Leg Static, the first one yeah. uh, that you, that you put we up saw. there, yeah. uh, we do own that yeah, one. You're Please do. Yes, that one. and it's quite a surreal yeah. piece uh -huh. because he became quite a surreal artist. He's Again, the influence of Moore, perhaps. 
Um, well, I do, uh, perhaps and others, that's that one others from at another, the time. That's, that's, that's it the from same another one from angle. another angle. Yes, it's yeah. lovely. He he was known for his omissions. Mm -hmm. What does what that he, mean? What his he omission. left out. Oh yeah, of course. Just what he I left out. I see legs. Out. I see no trunk. I see no head. You don't see any arms, but you no. see the hands. Yeah. But yeah. the mind is inclined to fill it all in. It is. You fill in all you the do. rest of, of it. Of course you do. Yes. Of course you and do. And they're all so beautifully balanced. They beautifully are. balanced. Do the people of Banbridge? realize the treasure they've got in F.E. McWilliams. I think that they, they do, and I think that they're beginning to enjoy and appreciate mm -hmm. it all the more. Almost a, well, that's, uh, who have we got there now? Richard look Croft. And look yes. at the, look at the, look yes. at the. So this is a painting what, of him. What I was going to say is that not only do we have, of course, the legacy of all the McWilliam works and pieces, but we also have a lovely gallery space yes. where we have a series of exhibitions every year. And that's how many exhibitions would you have in a year? Approximately four. Four is four. That's good, yes. isn't it? You they know, run for two or three yeah, months. That's a lot of work to pull together it is. and to orchestrate it four is. exhibitions. Yes. Yeah. So this is. current one um, is the Croft family. Yes. And we have Richard illustrated there with a batik by his yeah. uh, his wife Helen. My God. Uh, Helen Kerr. It's not a painting, it's a batik. This yeah. is his daughter, What's Amanda. What's the difference between a painting and a batik? Please forgive me. A batik? In a sense, it is a painting, but it is on te it's a textile work. Ah, yes. It's hot wax I thought, and yeah. dye. A bit, you, you pronounce it batik, I would have said batik. No, there's a <laughs> yes. that's the, yeah. But this, is this the yes. same as this batik? The painting, no, this is a painting by Richard, and it's of his daughter, Amanda. Wow. And Amanda... She is, is the only. Amanda? Yes, she's the only member of the family who's not an actual art practitioner, but uh -huh. she's an art historian. Well, she was. And she. They're all sitting on the same shelf. Many, aren't they? many people in Northern Ireland know her because she conducts all sorts of gallery tours yeah. and talks, and she's very well known. But suddenly, this is a young woman, and this here we're seeing. Uh, if, at first glimpse. We're looking at an older yes, lady. Yes, she does but look older actually, there. There's a there's a there's a, a relaxation in the in the painting. Yes, she's gently resting head upon hand, and the eyes are taking us into the distance of her imagining. Yes, she's, which she's is nice. deep in thought. She's very much so. Deep in thought, very with the cat so. on her knee. Is that a cat? Yes, of course. <laughs> Women and cats, <laughs> I tell you. Yes. But the exhibition it really represents the work of father, mother, and son. For goodness sake. So uh, this and is Helen. Helen is there beside her painting, or rather Richard's painting of her when she yeah. was younger, and she's the batik artist. And the fourth in the row is Paul Croft. And Paul, he is a printmaker, in yes. fact, a master printmaker. So this one here, <coughs> let's go again. The first one here on the left, that's that's a self-portrait. That's No, no. That's, that's the batik. By Helen. By Helen. Of Richard. Of, of Richard. Yes. Wow. Yes. And th this one here is, is Helen. Uh, the next one is a painting by Richard, Richard of Amanda. Of Amanda. Yes. And the next one is a painting by Richard of Helen. Of he and Helen is his wife. Helen is his wife. Goodness and, gracious. And, and the other is the printmaker. And the other, Paul, he's the youngest member of the family and he is the printmaker and he is a lecturer now in Aberystwyth yeah. University. Yeah, but that's quite, that's quite uh, an interest. It's, it, it's unique, I think, to it see a family of painters yes. and related uh, to individuals there with the work yes. that they're, they hold so and dear. And each of them are highly respected in their own uh -huh. particular disciplines. Yes. Because yeah. they have achieved great success. Absolutely, yeah. So the exhibition, there are about 60 works in the exhibition mm -hmm. and they range through um, Richard's and Helen's and Paul's. Yeah. Are people buying? Are you getting many red dots? Well, uh, the Effie McWilliam Gallery is not really a commercial gallery. Oh, really? Many of the exhibitions that we have are purely that, yeah. like the last exhibition. So I exhibition. can't go there and buy. Well, everything's no, not, for sale, I suppose, at the end of the day. No, the, but you the, go to the, the artist. The previous one exhibition was historical, so yeah. the works were coming from the National Gallery and Emma mm. and mm. Ulster Museum, mm. etc. And their works from the, the, the 1910s, 20s, 30s, mm. etc. Purely historical mm. in that sense. This exhibition, a number of the works are for sale. Excellent, yeah. And th it has been very successful. Good. There is Very a, successful. There's, a, there's, there's the creeping up of disposable income ever so slowly. <laughs> and uh, accompanied, God help us, by the ongoing poverty of folk that they don't have money uh -huh. to, to spend on yes. art. But I think it's very important that art 
does so, that art is supported, because the future of uh, that form of expression is greatly oh, dependent oh, on the appreciation given yes. by purchase. It you is know. indeed, mm. yes. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, once you get the buying bug, you've oh, had tell it. Me, tell me, I discovered, <laughs> I discovered Roderick O'Connor long ago, and then I discovered, uh, uh, goodness gracious, uh, there's another man I, I bought some of his stuff, but it catches you, and you, you, you invest in it, all of the things you want to be in it, in a funny kind of way. <laughs> Because you're, the painting, a, f a photograph gives you a photograph, but with a painting, of some of the abstract paintings, you make your own pictures, really, oh, yes, as you're looking. It. It, and every, uh, every mm. succeeding time you come to it, you're seeing something different, something new. Which it's is what great. the artist gives to you, yeah, but it's what you yeah, also give back absolutely. in the sense of your own yeah. Kingerley own was the other man I enjoyed, John Kingerley, who was very, very, very wonderful as an yes. artist. And uh, the... How long has, has the uh, gallery been in operation now? It opened in uh, 2008, yeah. in September 2008. You see, that represented, uh, like, forgive me, Banbridge doesn't jump off the canvas to me as a place of great uh, appreciation of the arts. It, it, you have your explorer who went to Crozier. the North Pole, yes. Crozier and all yes. of that, you're famed yes. for that. Famed yes. for many, uh, you're famed for your freshwater mussel in the, in the ban, uh -huh. all of that. Yes. But I mean, it, it was a mighty leap of, of confidence yes. for the council to, to well, build an F.E. McGallery, Effie, Adams Effie, Gallery. He died in 1992 mm -hmm. and um, his family gifted his studio to the state yes. with the proviso that it would come to the town of his birth. Yeah. yeah. And so we started with that and that was quite a magnificent collection. Yeah. And the physicality yeah. of the studio that they bequeathed, what was, what was, what was, what were they bequeathing? The, well, the, the collection as opposed to the physicality of a building? For all intents and purposes, the, the building mm. uh, looks like a garden shed. It yes. was his studio. Yeah. But inside were all his maquettes and master models. Yes. That is the first stage of the bronze casting. Oh, yes. So in itself, it is an archive. Yeah. And it has, we, we, it's a wealth of material to have within mm. that, as well as some original bronzes some original mosaics, yes. um, some original drawings, etc., mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. an archive of papers that are have yet to be really fully researched. My goodness. I know I find um, a letter from Jacob Epstein oh, to yes. McWilliam among the papers. Just, just, that's just yeah. one. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's like a treasure trove when you dip oh, into it and read all the various are, things they, about it. So that was the starting point. And then with um, EU monies yeah. and linking with the Highlands Gallery in Drogheda, it, yeah. it became our partner gallery. Um, the, the, it took a long time to choose a site. Yes. Highlands is that on the hill in the old church, is that right? It is, it's yes. A, it's a renovated yes. and deconsecrated yes. church of beautiful whatever. Gallery. Beautiful gallery. It's a lovely gallery, gallery there. We, but yeah. we, couldn't, we couldn't find a site. We didn't know where to go. Yeah. And eventually came back to the notion of what had been the tourist point on yes. the way into Banbridge. Of course. And it has been wonderful mm. because mm. now it becomes a stopping off point for people of traveling we'll see, from we'll Belfast see. to Dublin. And also, we'll have a spot of lunch at the F.E. McWilliams. Exactly so, yeah, yes. Yeah, because it, it, yes. it is there for that. Yes. His, most of his work was done where? Mostly in London. Yeah. Yes, he lived in Holland Park yeah. in London yeah, but in did his he, latter he, years. He didn't, he he didn't retain there. property in Banbridge, did he? No, no. Mm. Yes. So when he, when he went, he yes. went. In fact, I have a link to it because the home in which I live at Lena Derg was yes. built by his grandfather wow. and he in turn inherited it. So that would have been the Goodness property gracious. at um, yeah. in Banbridge. But by then, by the time he inherited, he was already established in England yeah. and I think he decided to stay. He would stay there. And so it yeah. was sold and eventually yeah. came into my family. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's a lovely link. It's a lovely story. I say, but it I, also means you can't yes. get away from your work. I can't really. <laughs> I say probably Effie and I slid down the same banisters. You, know, you, may, you may well have done, for goodness <laughs> sake. Oh, that's a lovely story. Yes, it's it is. It's a lovely story indeed. So, no, the, the family links now um, are, are quite few. Yeah. Um, I, I think he has a cousin uh, still living in Belfast. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. But other than that, and also the people who remember... Mm -hmm. and remember his family Absolutely. are, are the going getting to the Slade, he, he wouldn't have competed for a scholarship to go to the Slade. That might have been something paid for by his doctor father. 
Or would he have been? I don't think so. I don't know that he won a scholarship, but he won a scholarship from there. Yeah. When he finished, when he in his final year, he won a scholarship to go to Paris. Yeah. And seems. there he met again some of the greats when he was there. Oh, and yeah. I think had hoped to stay um, in France, but then it was the, the beginnings again of the war, yes, and he decided yeah. to come home. So he went to London where he so could be he bombed. Lived, he lived. <laughs> Um, outside of London at first, but then eventually came to live in Holland yeah. Park. Oh, yeah. Beautiful address, yeah. indeed. Yes. Beautiful address. Your, uh, your involvement as the acting curator there mm -hmm. brings you into the organizational matters of the, of the exhibitions. What yes. have you coming up this year? Um, well, this, the current exhibition uh, finishes on the 22nd of February, so yes. it's not very long away. Then we have a sort of a two-week turnaround, and the next one is called um, The Far Away Nearby. The Far Away Nearby. Mm, yes. That's interesting. Yes. Who's doing and it? Who is it? The, the curator there of it is my co-curator, um, um, Fergal O'Malley. Yeah. And, and it's, it, yeah. It, it won't be a selling exhibition again. No. It's an exhibition and is O'Malley from the Hyde, the, 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 lane, ga the Hyde lane Gallery? No, 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 he's not, no. And is it an um, eclectic mix Ireland. of of artists? Yes, it is, but it is both um, uh, historical, traditional, uh -huh. okay. um, established, well-established and known okay. Irish artists, and more contemporary, very young. Yes. So set against each other in a way. Okay. You and know, then so after the other and two then for the after year. After that, after that, it's a contemporary um, sculpture exhibition. Oh, that'll be fabulous. Yes. That yeah. Be very interesting. It's um, that brings uh, us to about summer women. time, does it? Yes. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to Emma for part of their um, collection, which would be large installation works. Oh God. And we're sharing that with Highlands. Yes. So that they will take a portion, we will take a portion, and then midway we'll swap. Well, what you could do, you could yes. have the head of the cow, the concrete <laughs> cow, looking out over Ban Bridge and the tail wagging <laughs> over the boy, and you could have it. <laughs> well, at the moment, we've got a large dog. Oh, really? Yes, we it's have a good. huge metal dog yeah. sits out in the, yeah. in the, the, the foreground uh, all, in the front of the gallery. <laughs> Deirdre, you're very kind. You've come down to us to tell us all about it, and uh, we, we wish you well. Thank you. And thank you for taking the trouble. We've had a, a good trot. We're 25 minutes chatting, would you believe? Oh, and, excellent. Uh, the F.E. McWilliams, it, it brightens all our lives, and thank you for, oh. and your counsellor for having the wisdom to have yes. created it. Yes, and indeed. Long may it continue. Indeed. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank Go you. Well. Take care. Bye all bye. We'll play you some music now. Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning, and the first thing that I heard. 